Hello everyone, welcome to this live streaming about MakeCode for Microbit. My name is Peli Dualeu and I work for Microsoft Research on the MakeCode team here in Seattle, Washington. And with me, um, Emil. <laughs> Emil. Um, and today, Emil, uh, we're going to be doing coding with the Microbit on the website makecode.microbit.org. So you can uh, go there to follow the lesson. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can right click two times on the video and select picture in picture to uh, watch the video and do the coding. If you don't have a micro bit, that's okay because we can do most of the testing in the simulator and then you can just uh, try to get one from your school or order it online. Okay, so today, uh, Emil, I got a new game. This is gonna be fun. I don't know if you've played this game. Let's see if we can uh, not behead you with the camera. Uh, have you played this game where you hold a phone on your head. I think it's a board game. And there's a board game too, and then there's a word, and then people have to kind of wiggle around in front of you, and mm -hmm. you have to guess it. And you have to guess what's on your head. Okay, so we're gonna build that game. Um, now here, how the game works? If you tilt it forward, what does it do? So in the uh, in the game, if you tilt it forward, that means people have guessed it right. Mm -hmm. If you tilt uh, well you have guessed you have to guess so people tell you yeah you guessed it right so you tilt it forward that means one score and then you get a new word and if you don't know what you do is you put it back like that and that means i pass mm -hmm. and we'll give you three passes before you die okay so we're going to build a game so everybody should think about how we're going to do that remember this is i want to see a new word scored one Pass one. All right, and we're going to learn about something called lists and arrays today, and that's that's the goal. All right, Emil, we're back into makecode.microbit.org. Scroll down one more time. It's going to be in the game section, and you see that we have something called head guess. Is that a person? Yeah. That's a big forehead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With a tiny microbit on it. Try to guess the word with your friends. Let's go and do it. Um, yeah, if you're familiar with Heads Up on the phone, it's kind of the same idea. It's a, game. it's a board game. It's a board game too, yeah. So you have 30 seconds to guess as many words as possible, and you can score or pass. So it's a cool game to play along with your family and so forth. Start countdown. So the first step here is to uh, start a countdown. And we're gonna start that as soon as the micro bit starts. So I think you don't want to count. So does it make sense to do a countdown yeah, in the forever loop? Like Probably not. Uh, in fact, I don't think we need the forever loop. And the reason we want this countdown is because, well, you only got 30 seconds to... Uh, 30, right? 30,000, yeah. All right. Create text list of words to guess you'll find array number advanced. Okay, so let's talk about arrays. Um, it's like a way to store multiple elements of the, the same thing. It's like a, you've got a bag of things, but they're ordered mm -hmm. and they're numbered. So here you've got a way to cr add more text. So these are going to be the the words we're gonna have to guess. So how about you remove two, because it's gonna be too big. And remove the ones you've added. Now, what are we gonna guess? So you have to, you have to come up with words. Uh, we oh. can do maybe cat, things that are easy, cat not too long. Cat. And remember, it uh, probably wanna do caps, because we're gonna show them on the screen. So cat, a dog, mm. and a bat. Nice three letter words. It has to scroll on the screen, so it's. Right. You probably don't want hippopotamus or, you know, yeah. platypus or whatever. Uh, let's do a bat. Doesn't matter. So at home, if you're looking at this video. Do ball. Ball, yeah. Ball. You can do any word you want. You can add as many words as you want. Uh, but for uh, this tutorial, we'll just do three. So we are basically filling up this list of words. And we're just gonna pick from, every time we're gonna tilt the micro bit, we're gonna 
pick from that list and show it on the screen. Pretty simple, right? Okay. When back of the logo is pointing up, this is a gesture to get a new word. All right, so if you think about the game, I got my micro bit and then I'm putting it in on my on my forehead. And when I do that, you see how the logo the logo is up. If you actually go back to the yeah. go back to the code and maybe scroll it to the left so that we can see all the let's move it all the way to the left. Top left. Uh, yeah, how about we don't have these guys in the way, and then we move the whole view. Now, if I doesn't want to go up. All right, so you can see that this is all the gestures that the microbit can detect. So we're going to need logo up means, you know, the microbit logo is up, but we've got, if you see screen down, screen down is going to be this one. And then we're going to also have, which one is going to, that one going to be? Screen up. Screen up, yeah. And for that, we're using something called the accelerometer, which is a sensor inside of the microbit. And there's a great video by our friend, Sean, Sean who explained how to build the accelerometer with Lego. It's super cool. Um, right. Next. So we've added an event. Yeah. I'm using text list so numbered zero to length. Oh my God, what is that? I go to pick random. I'm just going to look. Yeah, ooh. Well, that's small. <laughs> Set index to pick red. OK, I think I can read it. All right, so we have to create a variable. And you can see index is red, so let's make a new variable. Well, I think. Yeah, let's just create a new one. Oh, yeah, index, 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 yeah. index. And we're going to call that index. No, you are not in the, here we go. Are you still in caps? So we create a new variable, and your variable is a place in memory where we can store and read values. And we're going to add that to our logo up event. So first, we want to store something in that variable. Set index to, OK, so just want to. we're going to store. Oops. Whoops. Set index to. And now we need a random number between. Between something. So in this case, let's make it simpler. Well, well, if you go back to looking at the array. Okay, let me uh, let me move that so we see everything. All right. Mm, okay, now we see everything. So the list has how many elements? Three. Three. Now the way we the way we work here is this element is at the slot zero. We start counting at zero. Mm -hmm. So this is zero, one, two. Mm -hmm. Now if you think about it, we have three elements, so the length of the array is three, but the greatest the last slot is always going to be 3 minus 1 because we start at 0. OK, this is mind-blowing math. <laughs> you know what? Let's do 0 to 2. Yes, that makes sense. 0, 1, 2. But we can make it more general later on. All right, what else do we have to do? Because here, this thing tells us how many elements there is in an array. Yeah, we can just put it in the two. Now, the problem there is that if we say, give me the element at array number three, gah, it's going to be here. So we need to do a bit of math here. So, what? so what you want to do is do the length minus one. Minus one. Oh, this should be text list. There we go. Oh, this is getting interesting. Arrays are kind of a fundamental concept. They're they're pretty hard to get used to. Let's let's just skip that for now. We'll go, go back to this. Yes. Yeah. Let's get the code back in the in the view. All right. So we've got 
We're going to pick a number, so it's going to pick 0, 1, or 2, and that's going to, and then from there we have to read the value inside of the array. Add the code to show the value of the item stored at index in text list. Okay, so if you go to, so first we're going to show a string, so that's good. Put that here, and now we need to grab the string we want. And that's going to be, so text list is the whole array. And what you want is an element of it. And I think it's going to be, if you look at the color, it's probably going to be orange Orange in the array. So there is this one, get value at. Okay. Now you want to get a value from text list, not list. Because that's our array. And now at index, so the index is going to be the one you just compute it, and that's going to be this one. Okay. Next. This is an event to run code when the microbit screen is pointing down. This is a gesture for a correct guess. Actually, let's try. Let's try. It. Uh, can we run logo up? Oh yeah. See. Ball. Ball. So we're, we're putting our mouse on top of the micro bit all the way down and then all the way up to kind of simulate the micro bit moving. 3D micro bit. And see, it's picking different words each time. Ball. Ball. A lot of ball. Yeah. Eventually, we should see dog sometime. Yeah. Fox. Oh, dog. There we go. Cool. So we've got that part of the game going. Use an event to run code when the microbit screen is pointing down. So we just grab this again. Uh, Wait, let's go back. Use an event to run code when the microbit is pointing down. Wait, are you sure? Down. Logo up, and what is this position? Logo down. You sure? Logo yeah, down screen is? Screen down, screen down. But then screen down. Oh, okay, I thought it was logo. Oh, so let's go back, let's go back to the code, let's see. Screen. Wait, let's try to move to the left here. Cause uh. So you really want to pick, yeah, make sure you pick the right one, otherwise it won't work. So we're looking at screen here down, all right. Perfect. Okay, put in code to add points to the score. Okay, that's that's easy. Okay, so that was in game. We've done that in previous yeah. tutorials. Again, if I put it down, that means I guessed it right, and people in front of me told me you're right, and then I give myself a point. Let's do that. Add another event to run code when the microbit screen is pointing up. This is a gesture for pass. And we are taking the screen up. This looks okay. So screen up means I'm kind of pointing it on top of my head. And now the screen is up. The screen is up. Wait, going too fast. Uh, okay. Oh, we did it? All right. Yeah, we did it. We did it. For the pass gesture, add code to remove a life from the player. We want to remove at least, let's remove one life. I think we start with three lives. Remove one. You got three passes, which... Would it add a life if I did remove negative one? Yeah, it did, would do it, would. I don't think we enforce it. I think it's going to be time to test this with the real thing. So let's test the simulator first. See that... And scroll down. Yeah. It's, it's a bit hard to test these gestures just in the simulator. Yeah. But uh, it's time to go to the hardware. So we're going to click on um, download. We're going to right click and do save link as. Is it on? Now we're going to switch to a video here. 
I don't have the mic that drives. No? Hold on. I'll just try again. Let's see. Does it show up? Nope. Let's try again. Technical difficulties. How about now? I'll do uh, maybe cancel. Let me try another one. How about now? I think you have to do cancel and try again. Nope. Okay. Maybe this cable is not plugged in. Where's the other cable? How about we download it later? Let's try this cable. Or have another cable. If you have issues oh, with yeah. connecting the micro bit, make sure the cable is actually connected. Now I get, I'm getting a light on the micro bit, so yep. it seems that we got it. <coughs> somehow our USB cable got disconnected. Hold on, hold on. Let me get this back on. Professional. All right, so it's got got transferred. So we're gonna uh, bring back the the micro bit here. We're gonna do a live testing on our foreheads. So Zilli, can you bring back the micro bit? Uh, hold on. Let's get this one back here. All right, so let's see. Let me start the game. Undefined. <laughs> we have a bug. <laughs> That's that doesn't sound good. Okay, let's see. Let's see what's going on. Undefined again. Undefined what? We have oh, yeah. some things going on here. Let's put this thing. one here. <clears throat> but it works on the simulator. It works on the simulator. Yeah, sometimes we have differences. Between. Sometimes we have little bugs. Okay, I'm reflashing it. What's going on? Okay, I think it's. It's a dog. 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 Okay. So you have to do the dog. And I say, dog! Okay. So then, uh, because dog is okay, let me get rid of that cable here. Uh, what I can do is I can say, give me one point. And now it's bad. Do it bad. It's not bad. <laughs> That's a ball. And I think it was ball. And we've game over. That was 30 seconds. Let's try again. So for example, if the game is starting and we start the countdown, now it's saying cat, cat. <coughs> and I don't know what cat is. I'm going to tilt it up, and I lost a life. And then it picks another word, which is cat again, too bad. And then I pick another word, which is ball. And if I do one more time, Cat again. Cat. Yeah, I'm losing a lot of lives. <coughs> Maybe you have to tilt it down. No. Tilt it down now. Tilt it down. Game over. There we go. Okay. Should we add some more letters? Yeah, we should add more words. All right. So um, let's go back to the tutorial and let's finish it. You skipped one thing. Okay. Now we have a vertical text list. Wait. Finish the tutorial first because we're going to run out of space. And let's collapse the simulator. So Lee, can you re replug it? Mm -hmm. Aha. This feels so good. So one thing I had to do, I had to populate the array before starting the countdown. It's kind of an interesting bug. And the reason is, while the countdown is running, it's, it's a funny bug where while this is running, this decided to run, and this was undefined. 
so we'll, we'll update the tutorial to, uh, to fix that. Um, well, we didn't do bat, now we can do bat. Yeah, we can do bat. So, oh, that's interesting. So it goes vertical because otherwise you can't see anything. Yeah. And you can add a lot of words. Um, so the I'm more like, words, the less chance you're going to have twice in a row. Yeah. But we could do something smarter. Fish, 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 fish. Fish, yes. So the other thing I wanted to do is go back to this length thing. So what we did before is the problem right now is that, well, now we have one, two, three, four, five. And going to be six. Six. What do you put? Um, let's see. Horse. No, that's kind of long. Um, yeah, that's fine. Shark. Shark. Dog. Just animals and the ball. Animals. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, but oh, we forgot to update this. And it's kind of a pain to always have to update it. So let's try to get that length business going on. So if you remember, in arrays, you can get the length of the array, which is the number of, of items in the array. So let's go and get that block. So arrays. Arrays. And we want the length of the array, yes. Now, because this is an index, yeah, we can't just do the length because we have to do text list yes minus one so let's get in math and let's do the operator to do minus one so you want the subtraction yes. operator here yeah so put that here? and here yeah instead of the length nope undo all right whoops whoops how about we create a new variable? Because it's it's become too complex and it's confusing. And the variable is going to be I'm complex. The last item. The last index. The last index. All caps. Yes. Very dramatic. Very dramatic. And we're going to set it to the length of the array minus one. So that is not what you want. You want to set it first. Oh. So we do like a you just trash it yeah we'll use it later okay. let's go back to variable and we're gonna set the last index right here. before the index to length of the array minus one now that's length of the array so you need to do the math so that's okay we're okay. still picking random so let's focus on this one this should be the length of the array is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, minus one. Yeah. So let's get the math operator here. Yep. This one. Let's dump it into. Pull this out. Like this. Yep. Like this. Like this. You take the length of the array and you subtract one to it. Okay, so we've got now, hold on, let's, let's move everything out. Move over it. All right, we've got this last index, and now we can use it and pick random. Because we know the star, the star is always zero. So, so we're going to pick a random number between zero and last index. Okay. So now that we've created a variable, we can read the value in the variable by using this block. Cool. So can we add some more? Yeah, if you accidentally drag things, remember there is an undo. Let's see. Yeah, you shark. can add. Um, shark. Oh, a goat. A goat. A goat. Because we're going to get a goat. Um. Creeper. <laughs> I think okay. that's too long. Creeper by the dozen? We can do. Who's Steve? Steve. Okay. Steve. Let's try if, we, if it still works. Actually, let's go in the simulator. Oh, yeah, simulator? Yeah. Um, I think it's going fast. Yeah, it's going super fast. Game over. Restart. Where, where are the words?
cards. You have to kind of tilt. Hey, shark. Shark. Okay, it's working. Shark. It's kind of picking the words. On screen down, it's like this, though. And then I think we lose. I don't know. Yeah. All right. Well, we're, we got the words. So there was another issue is that we got the same word multiple times. And I think we can do something there. And what we can do is remove them from the array when we, when we show them. Okay, how do we do that? Well, if you go back to the place where we show it to the user. So where's that? That's logo up. Oh yeah, the logo up. So we are here, we show it, but we also know the index. And let's go in the array and see if we can remove things from, from an array. Can put things in them. Oh no, that's the last value. We want the one that removes a specific one. So keep keep in the right. Let's crawl down and see. Find index insert remove value adds. Oh yeah, that sounds great. In fact, we can use it instead of get value at. All together. And you want to patch it. Oh, you, uh, no, no, keep keep that out. But you want to get the index. Oh yeah. And let's see. We need to work on the text list. Oops. Where do I put this? Uh, yeah, yep. yeah, right there. So this one, imagine it grabs from the bag and takes it out. So every time. So you can't really take it again because it's yeah. gone. Mm -hmm. We'll face an issue if you run out of words. I think we can solve that by adding many, many words that you can't guess. Yeah. Let's try it. Zeli, is it plugged in? Uh, yes. It's plugged in. Let's see. <clears throat> Let's go do a download, Emil. On one drive. This PC? It's not there. Yeah, uh, maybe it is. Where's my little micro bit? Come on. It's not plugged in very good. It might not be fully plugged in. Let's try again. Oh, we're still at the wrong cable. <laughs> yeah, you always <laughs> give me that cable. Well, that's unfortunate. All right, let's try again with the cable that actually is connected. Is it key? Any micro bit? In, oh yeah, there's a micro bit here. Let's go and save it. And it's blinking. So it's transferring. And when it's done, we can, we've got a battery attached, so we can unplug it from the PC and pass it over. So you can completely unplug it and play the game. Da, da, da. I cheat because I see the video. Steve, Steve, one point. <coughs> goat. Okay, I don't know goat. I pass. <laughs> Bat, ball, one point. So I never see the same words again. Never see them again. All right. That was the head guess tutorial. And thank you, Emil, for uh, doing it today. We'll be back tomorrow with more microbit activities.